Hello there, my name is Ismaso. It's been a while since I've posted anything on my YouTube channel and uh, the reason for that is that uh, I've been working on something that I thought would be interesting and very useful uh, to the Blender community and that is the Blender portal uh, which is just an application that helps you manage everything related to Blender and uh, just going to show you a few things that it can do here. If you go to the link in the description, you will get the setup here. It's a, it's a standalone application that works in with Blender. The main purpose of it is uh, to queue up renders uh, for your project, like something like uh, Adobe Encoder or the After Effects Render Queue, uh, something like that uh, for Blender. Uh, it's free. You can get it to my Patreon page. You don't have to be a Patreon. Uh, you just have to go to the link and download it uh, there. In the future, I'll make a website where you can go and download it from there, uh, which would be much easier. But uh, for now, you can just get it directly on my Patreon page. So I'm just going to show you the setup and uh, how you can use it. Uh, to uh, This is what you get uh, when you go to the link and I just have to double click on it. Click on yes and uh, then select where you want to install this. I'll just create a new folder on my desktop, call it uh, just rename this, call it Blender, Blender Portal, and I can just hit OK, then hit Install. Like any other program, it's going to install very easily. Uh, then you can go where you installed it. Uh, my desktop, so I'll go in there, and you can see these are the files uh, that come with the application. You just have to select uh, this one here. I haven't designed the icon for it. I guess I'll do that in the future. Maybe I'll even show you a tutorial on how to design icons for your applications if you are, if you want to make any yourselves. Uh, so you can just click on uh, download on the icon to open it up. And uh, this is how the application looks. You can see it's very, very minimum. But uh, the main feature of this add-on is uh, the render manager, uh, which lets you uh, queue in Blender projects that you can render. Let's, so let's first talk about the main features and then I can show you uh, the other features and maybe future goals uh, that I have for this application. So if you want to queue up any project, uh, the program starts off at this page, uh, but uh, if you want to queue up projects, you can go under render manager and uh, then you should see uh, you have the render manager here. And uh, it opens with, you will see that uh, it opens with uh, this command line window like Blender does. Uh, I could have hidden this, but uh, because this is uh, still in its early, uh, its early pro process of making it, I want, I want to give you some feedback on uh, what is going on behind uh, the scene. In case I, there is any errors or anything you want to report, you can just send me a screenshot of this uh, portal here because it will report any errors that may you counter. So just to test it out, if you click on the check render, to show you what is what is in queue, in queue or what has been queued up in the render uh, before it starts to render. And you can see because we have nothing here, we have nothing uh, to show. So you can add Blender projects by just clicking on this add project. When you click on that, you just navigate to where you have the projects uh, saved. So for me, that's in my models and I can find uh, add, proje add projects and let uh, me get this and uh, just hit open. Now, if this is your first installation, uh, the application needs to know where you have Blender installed. Uh, so you get this prompt, but uh, after you set it up for the first time, you won't see it again. So you can see it's saying, help us locate Blender, uh, the Blender executable file. Uh, first, so you just click OK, and then navigate to where you have Blender installed. And uh, for me, because I'm, I don't, I usually download uh, the Blender daily builds, I would just, that would be in the downloads. Uh, I think it's under compress. And, uh, blender so what you want is to find the blender executable uh, if you have installed blender the official blender release not the daily builds uh, that, is, that is usually in your programs folder uh, so just navigate to that all it needs is the blender executable file and uh, just select that click ok and then you'll be able to queue up any files so if i close this now i can just start up without uh, the application asking me uh, the to set up as uh, the blender executable again so I can queue projects now so I just have to go to back to my AI that I want to render select that and uh, it should queue up without asking me uh, because now it's already it already knows the location of blender I can add another one let me get something in my documents here so you can see added another blend file there can even add a third one so you can queue up as many 
projects as you want and you can see you get some information about the blender projects you have queued i can see the project name uh, you can even open that project to see to just to verify that uh, that's what you want to render all right let me see this is blend one i can open that and you can see that uh, it should open like that uh, so it also gives you a few information about what you're trying to render here uh, the number of frames of that specific project and uh, if you want to change the number of frames here you just have to go open the project and uh, change uh, the number of frames there and uh, they won't reflect directly uh, that's a feature i'm working on in the future uh, so if you want to re-add that after you change the frames you may have to first remove it so we have added four projects and again you can see some of the options we have here of course the application supports ev and cycles and uh, just to show you i'm just going to get rid of uh, this here then go back actually I should, I should have added this first opened it up and change the render engine uh, to cycles make sure to save close um, i haven't added the functionality to update this uh, directly so it, for now you just have to first remove it and then add it back like so and you can see cycles is now the render engine and uh, you can also see the output folder you can see we have a few uh, rendered frames here let me just get rid of that i'm just going to go through all the projects uh, because i did i've just done a few tests and i just make sure that everything works and uh, so let me clear all of that like so and i'm also going to change this back to eevee because eevee is very fast and uh, it doesn't take up a lot of computation power since I'm recording here, change this back to EV, save. So after that, you can also check, again, this is our, an easier way to, for you to check what's going on. And if there are any issues or any errors, I can just take a screenshot of this and send it to me via email or through my Patreon page. Uh, if you're a patron and I'll see what I can do to fix the errors. Uh, so you can check uh, the render. I also have a preview render here just to show you what is rendering and you can see uh, that uh, we have nothing in the queue uh, because we haven't queued anything yet so you can see that uh, we have three projects queued and i can unqueue this this is just a quick way to check to check behind the scene that uh, the application has registered everything as you want it and uh, so i have these animation toggle buttons here so these allow you to switch between rendering animations or just rendering a few frames of your animations so for example uh, let me open this project for a second and uh, you can see how the animation looks nothing fancy just a cube rotating maybe you could give it some bit of color uh, something like that i'll save so let's say you just want to render frame four uh frame four 10 16 and maybe 24 uh, just picking random random uh, rendered frames uh, blender doesn't really give you a way to support to render that unless you're just going to render one and then go to the next and sit around and wait for that frame to render and then go to the next so this application would allow you to just do exactly that by just clicking on the animation toggle here and you see that you get this pop-up menu and you can enter the specific frames you want so we want to maybe 10 and maybe 15 and maybe uh and maybe three the order doesn't matter you just have to make sure that uh, the frames you want to render are separated by a comma so you just have to make sure that uh, the frames are separated by a comma like that yeah so we're going to render these frames and uh let's see yeah that's it so let's queue this up check render again you can see what we are rendering here and uh, hit render you see that uh, the application has already started rendering by rendering the first images here so 10 5 and 1 and uh, if you click on the output you can see that uh, we have rendered 10 5 and 1 and now it has moved on to the rest of the queue uh, which is rendering now this if you click on check uh, it will show you uh, the projects is rendering currently and uh, if you click again after it's rendered so this should be automatic but uh, for now i'm just giving you only the control of clicking on this button and just updating the viewer here and uh, the animation here so 
you can constantly check here so it went from this to this uh, to this and when you click on this you can show you the last rendered frames and the last rendered frame and uh, you can even open up uh, the blend files the output folders to just confirm remember we had deleted all the uh, images from there it's still on this here continuing to render as you can see from the from there and uh, so uh, this has finished from zero from zero one to 50. Uh, I used very light projects just for demonstration purposes um, but uh, you can use heavier projects that might take a while for you to render and uh, just to check on the progress you just click on check render to see how much percentage has been rendered and uh, also show you the last rendered frame after it's done it will just stop or you can click on stop and uh, it will stop automatically like that just click stop and uh, it should stop so it, let's see we were rendering uh, remember this is still better this is still a better version uh, they might we might see a few bugs uh, if you see them just i'm uh, make sure to send me a screenshot of uh, the bug here and i'll see what i can do uh, the other thing i could show off here is that uh, so if you find uh, this useful there are a few ways to support the project uh, so if you go to the home page you see that uh, i have a blender store there and uh, there are quite a few projects there here uh, most of them are not my own projects you can see we have the pure sky add-on i have done a few reviews of these add-ons and i use them myself because they're they're very very uh, useful add-ons are for blender and uh, if you want to get any of them uh, these are just affiliate links and uh, if you get go to any of these i'll say the simply cloth uh, click on that just take you to uh, the simply cloth uh, blender market page and uh, if you download or if you buy and the project there I, i'll get a commission of that and i can use it to support uh, the continuation of uh, the project and uh, my other projects i'm also planning on creating some free courses and uh, some paid courses i already have a, a few courses that i have added there but uh, yeah that's it um again if you have any questions you can just uh, send me a message or leave a comment and i'll uh, see what you do Thank you for watching.